Good evening, my dear. Hi, Hector. Hello. Hi. Hello, teacher. Hi, Hector. How are you? Fine. You? I'm cold, Hector. <laughs> uh, me too. I'm with sweater. <laughs> me too. Uh, well, kind of, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's been raining all day here in my house. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's uh, probably uh, make us uh, to feel uh, more lazy. I know. know, I know. It's like, I don't want to get up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Watching Netflix. <laughs> I know. Drinking <laughs> hot chocolate or coffee, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very good. Good Hi. evening. Hi, Anna Molina. How are you, Anna? I'm fine, teacher. And you? I'm cold, Anita. You're not cold today? No. <laughs> oh, For me, no. it's, it's the nice. favorite. Weather. Uh, weather. Yes. Oh my goodness, Annie, I, I love it. <laughs> you know what? I like it too, but I'm very like friolenta. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Hi, Aide. Can you hear us? Aide, Aide. Good evening, teacher. How Hi, are you? Aide. Fine. How are you? Nice. Nice. You're in class. Hi, Jose Mariano. Hi, teacher. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you too, Mariano. You're no cold today. I'm cold. I'm asking everyone today. <laughs> Hello, cold. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. All right. Very good, guys. So it's very, I mean, I'm very, very happy to see you again. All right. So um, we have how many more days of classes? Today, Thursday, and Friday, and we're finished, right? Yes. Yeah. Super fast. Oh my goodness, all right, we're flying here. Yeah. Time is flying, all right. Are you gonna continue with the next course? Like pre-avanzado uno, are you taking it, guys? Yeah, I am ready. Yes, teacher. Excellent, very good. All right, that's nice. It's very nice, you have to continue on your process, okay? Yeah. When you finish your pre-avanzados and your avanzados, you're going to take TOEFL preparation. All right, very good. Okay. TOEFL. Yeah, you, you get, yeah, you get um, the courses for TOEFL preparation. All right. Mm -hmm. I usually right teach those training. courses. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Maybe I see you. Yeah, it would be nice. It would be it would be nice to see you again, guys. Very good. Yeah, very nice. Okay, so tonight we're gonna keep on talking a little bit about the if clauses. Remember, we were talking yesterday about these imaginary situations, okay, that we use with a second conditional or unreal conditional. All right. Hi, Alex. Hi, teacher. Hi, Alex. Very good. So I don't know if you guys, before I start the explanation and we start the activities, if you have any questions. Sure about, have yes, way. Alex. Yes, Alex. Tell me. I don't understand very well when we have to use cool, might, and, mm. and would. That, will. Yeah. Yeah. It would depend, Alex, on, on what you want to say and how strong about it you feel. So I can say, for example, if I found, again, a million dollars, I would, possibly, I could, all right, that, give, remember the, remember what, like, like, last week, Alex, we were talking yeah. about these model verbs, could, yeah. would, and might, and they are the same, remember? Yeah. All right, yeah. so it depends on the degree of possibility that you want to convey, that you want to express. All right. Okay. So it would really doesn't yes. have any rule, a specific rule. Or use um, more. not Only really. More probable. Uh huh. Yeah. You can say, for example, if I found a million dollars, I might uh, take you to I don't know to a, 
a cruise around the world, all right? So oh, it's like okay. a possibility also. Usually, Alex, um, for this um, unreal conditional, we tend to use more would than could or might. But at the end of the day, it's really what you want to say, how, um, how the possibility that you are talking about is stronger than others, all right? Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much when, Alex, okay? Uh, that's the reason in platform, the example mm -hmm. from the doctor. Right, yes. We have to use my because it's more probably you go jogging too. Right, too. that's oh. right. Yes, that's right, Alex. Very good. Okay. okay. Thank Excellent. You. Thank you, Alex. Very nice. You always have very good questions. All right. Anybody else? Well, you guys all do. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Gabby. Hi, Gabby. Hello. How are you? Fine. How are you? Um. I'm doing okay, thank you. Excellent, very good. I think everybody's probably sleeping because everybody's called Anita. And they don't <laughs> want to have classes today. What's going on? Where is everybody? Oh, Only okay. two or four. I know, it's been raining all day. Oh, no. Yeah. Do you Maybe know any? that's the reason. Yeah, I think so, Gabby. I think everybody's sleeping or something. <laughs> And yes. they didn't want to join. Oh, hi, we have Andrea. Hi, Andrea. La extrañamos en clase ayer, Andrea, ¿qué me le pasó? Tenía examen, teacher. Okay, vaya, bueno, pues, ah, pues la <laughs> Very good. Hi, Javier. Mire, Javier, tiene hi, frío. He's wearing a sweater como yo. <laughs> <laughs> Only Anita is, ah, no, mire, hay de, you're not wearing a sweater, hay de. <laughs> No sweater idea. I'm freezing no. idea. I know. Oh, did you? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. All right. Very good. But Javier is Javier is drinking coffee or something hot, Javier? Tea. Tea. All right. Very good. Yeah. That's because he's cold. A navy. All right. Very good. So I'm glad everybody's here. All right. So we were just talking about, guys, uh, the remembering about the usage of the unreal conditional or the imaginary situations or second conditional, all right? A ver, let's see, uh, who remembers? What is the structure, guys? When we talk about unreal conditional or the second conditional, what is the structure that we have to use? Uh, don't look on your notebooks, tiene que estar aquí. All right, tell me what is the structure of um, the unreal conditional? Is the if clause. The if clause, yes. Uh -huh. Plus subject. Uh -huh. Plus uh, simple past. Okay. Comma. Yes, and excellent. Uh -huh. Then I, the subject uh -huh. plus um, verb plus, uh, plus good. Plus, okay, plus word, uh -huh. And plus subject and the complement of the sentence. Very okay, very nice. So, following that example, following that structure, can um let me see uh, uh, jose mariano can you give me an example please of any imaginary situation if i had the money i would buy a car me too <laughs> 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 Me too, Mariano. I need to change my car. Very good. Nice. Thank you. All right. Let's see. Navy, tell us another example. Think about something that you always wanted, Navy, that you can say, oh, that's my imaginary situation. If I could fly, I go so far. Ah, if I flew, right? Flew. If I flew, I could go? Far away, right? Very good, nice, all right? Javier, can you tell me another imaginary situation? If um, he won the lottery, uh -huh. he could buy a new house. Very good, yeah, me too. <laughs> Very good, Javier, thank you. All right, hi, Fer, hi, Sahira. Very good, welcome to class. Let's see. Um. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Alex, can you tell us an imaginary situation that you have? Okay, this one. Yeah, no. I will, I will have money 
if I live in United States. <laughs> All right, okay, yes. Now, if you notice, Alexander switched it, right? He had the main clause before and then the if clause, all right? That's okay. Yes, and you omitted the comma. Very good, Alex, yes, <laughs> thank you. All right, Anita, Anita, can you tell us an imaginary situation? Okay. If you went to bed earlier, you wouldn't. Be so tired. No kidding. You're very right, Anita. I have to follow your advice. All right. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Hector, Misael. Uh -huh. Tell us an imaginary situation. Ana Gloria, good evening. Thank you for joining our class tonight. Okay. If I, yeah, if I, um, if I had a money, if I had money, money. Uh, I, uh -huh, I would. Uh, to buy, I would buy. Sorry, I will buy. Oh, Hector, uh, casi me da algo, Hector. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. I remember. <laughs> I would buy a, a new home. All right, very good. Hi, a Fer. Very good. Yes, a new home or a new house. Very nice. Fer, can you tell us an imaginary situation about anything that you that you have always dreamed of or dreamt of or like wished for? <laughs> Fer, I cannot hear you. Your mic is off, honey. Thank you. <laughs> if I had studied law, mm -hmm. I would have been a nice lawyer. All right. If I studied law, all right. If I study law, uh huh. I would have, no, no, I would be. I would be a lawyer. I would be a, a good lawyer. Yes. The third conditional. I'm like, no, that's not the one. <laughs> Very good, Fred. That's okay. Thank you. All right. Let's see. Anna Gloria, tell us about an imaginary situation that you wish it could happen. If I being being jump jumpers. I could study another things that I like. Uh, if I if I were younger, acuérdese, remember the was where que vimos ayer? If I were, if I were uh -huh. younger, okay, I would study something else, right? Very good, or some other career. Very good, thank you. Andrea, I know you were not in class, but this is not very difficult for you. Can you try to tell us an imaginary situation? Okay, if I went to Los Angeles, uh -huh. I go to Disneyland. You, I would go to Disneyland, very nice, cool. Can you take me please? Very nice, thank you. Sahira, what about your sentence, Sahira? Can you tell us an imaginary situation that you may have? If I were a president. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I, I buy, wouldn't steal uh, money, uh-huh. <laughs> I buy a computer for all the children oh, of the country. Oh, my goodness. Very good. Sahira, yay. Voy a votar por usted. Very nice. Mireya, uh-huh, Mireya. Tell us an imaginary situation, Mireya. Mireya, usted tampoco estuvo en clase ayer. ¿Qué le pasó? Yes, I, my, mm -hmm. I don't have internet. Okay, I forgive you too. All right, uh-huh, Mireya. Tell us another <laughs> sentence, please. If I have a superpower, huh? I would like to fly. Yeah, me too. Over the world. <laughs> oh my goodness, cool. All right, very good. Gabi, can you tell us your sentence? And I think um, Maria no, hasn't told me his yet. All right, Gabi, can you tell us your sentence, please? If I were rich, uh -huh. I could meet Asia. Oh my goodness, nice, Gabby, very nice. All right, um, Jose Mariano, can you tell us your sentence or did you tell me your sentence already? Oh, I was the first. You were the first, oh, you can be the last, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, <laughs> uh, yeah, you omitted the, the coma, right? Or was it Alexander who omitted? Oh yeah, it was you, yeah, all right. Alexander. Uh, okay, very good. Uh, let me see, hi, Vanessa. Good night. Good evening, how are you? all right Sorry. excellent very good okay guys so uh we're going to talk a little bit about that a little bit more about it 
But before that, I just want to work on something first that is from the platform that is a little bit different that it helps us to know a little bit more vocabulary. Okay, so we're talking about antonyms here. So we're going to go to the uh, platform right now. All right. And I don't know if you have if you guys have seen these antonyms. All right. So here we have accept, admit. All right. Someone else to pronounce this one for me. Agree. Agree. Uh-huh. Photo. Yes. Deny. 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 Thank you. Uh-huh. Disagree. Disagree. Yes. Disagree. Dislike. 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 Divorce. 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 Happy. I mean divorce. Uh -huh. This one? Enjoy. Enjoy. Very good. Three. Three. One. Yeah. I think, uh, yeah, fine, fine. It was fine. Ah, oh, no, no. What did I know? That's not what I wanted to see. There. Okay, fine. Uh, what's this one? Forget. Forget. This one? Land. Land. This one? Lose. 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 Very good. This one? Mary. Mary. Very good. This one? Refuse. 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 This one right here? Remember. Remember. Uh -huh. And this one? Save. Save. Spend. And very good. Now. We're not going to do number one. Solo que hay un micrófono por ahí con un poquito de, de, de ruidito. All right, thank you. So we're, we're going to do this one. Uh, we're not going to do number one because it's already done for us. All right, accept, refuse. So the antonym is the opposite. If I say good, what is the antonym of good? Bad. Bad, right? If I say Bad. ugly, yeah, what's the um, antonym for, uh, for ugly? Beautiful. 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 Very good. If um, what is the antonym for um, intelligent? Mm, yeah, you can be dumb also, right? Okay, very good. So you understand what the 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 antonyms are. All right. What is the antonym for admit? Deny. Deny. What is the ant the antonym for admit? What is it? Deny. Deny, Deny? could be. Deny. All right. Deny. All right. Okay. Let, what about agree? Disagree. 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 All right. Agree, disagree. Yo sé que ustedes no lo hacen, pero no me van a andar diciendo I am agree. In this, in English you say I agree, okay? Si dice I am agree, me va a dar algo, I swear. All right, so I agree, he agrees, okay? Si dicen I am agree, no van a decir que yo le di clase, all right? I agree, all right, very good. All right, what about borrow? What is Land. the antonym for borrow? Land. Land, yes, very good. Deny, we already said it, right? Admit deny. Uh, dislike? Like. Enjoy. 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 Very good. Yes. Divorce. Mary. Mary. It's not happy. It's not here. All right. Find. <laughs> Lose. 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 Yes. Forget. Remember. Remember. Lend. Borrow. Oh, no. We already said that one. Uh, refuse is already here. Uh, save. Spend. 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 All right. Yeah. Spend. 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 Spend, yeah, save and spend. Very good. So, we do you guys understand like the meaning of all of these uh, words? Do you know the meanings? Yes. Only land. I don't. Know. Deny, I don't know what ah, deny is negar. Like I deny that I did this. All right. Like no like, niego. I deny it. All right. And what was the other one? Lent. Lent. Lent es prestar. And borrow? Es prestar. Borrow. I lend, you borrow. All right, so I can borrow. say, can I, uh -huh, I, yeah. I, if I do the action, I lend it. And if you give it to me, you borrow it. Oh, okay. All right, very good. It's like, yeah, why I'm because. Right, okay, very good. Okay, right. anybody else? Or anything else from the from the chart? No, we're okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to stop sharing this right now. I just wanted you to do that to see that. Okay. Now, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to show you the PowerPoint presentation that I have for you tonight. 
and there's a lot of a speaking practice, okay? Remember that here in this class, the idea is for you to practice as much English as possible, all right? So when I send, I'm not gonna send you right away to your groups, but when I do, the idea is for you to practice as much English as possible, okay? I don't wanna come into your groups and listen to Spanish, all right? No more Spanish, it's Spanish for the beginners, all right? But you guys are intermediate, almost advanced, okay? So only English or French or Chinese, but no Spanish, okay? <laughs> all right, very good. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you this right now here. If clauses, the same thing that we were talking about yesterday, which I just wanna I just want you guys to remember, okay? If clauses using them with the unreal conditional. All right. So here we have it. So we have if clause, oops, if clause is here, and then this one, second conditional or unreal conditional or an, uh, imaginary situations, okay? Remember, guys, and this is uh, what I was telling you yesterday, if clause, main clause, together, all right? Divided or separated by a comma, that's it, okay? If you begin with the if clause, if you begin with the main clause, no comma. So here we say, if I want a million dollars, if plus the subject, it can be I, you, we, they, he, she, it, doesn't matter. Any verb that you want here, no solo hablamos de ganar, verdad, o de encontrar, no. We can say whatever we want, fly, I don't know, eat. Uh, if I ate, I don't know, like 10 hamburgers, I would throw up, all right? So whatever, whatever verb that you can have or you can think of, as long as it is in simple past, it's okay, all right? So if plus subject plus the verb in simple past plus the complement plus comma, and on the main clause, you need the subject, you need would, could, or might, depending on the degree of possibility or of certainty, and then you have the rest of your sentence. So I say, if I want a million dollars, I would put the money in a bank. If I want a million dollars, I could buy an airplane. If I want a million dollars, I might give it all away, all right? Or we can do it vice versa, the main clause, the if clause. If you do it this way, no comma. I would put the money in a bank if I want a million dollars. The structure remains the same, okay? There's no change in structure. The only change that is happening is that we're switching positions, all right? But the rest stays the same. Do you guys understand that? Yeah? yeah. yeah. All right. Okay, yeah. very good. Okay, so here is the same idea. You're saying exactly the same thing. You're using the same structure. The only thing you're doing is switching, all right? The rest is the same. Okay, so here we have. I'm gonna, you know what, This is, we're gonna do two activities today. This one that we're gonna do um, in groups, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna check them, and then we're going to do this one. But this one is a speaking practice, okay? For example, if I am working with Hector, I will be a student A and Hector is going to be a student B. So I am a student A and this is, these are the, question, the questions I'm going to ask Hector. I would say, for example, Hector, what would you do if you could travel back in time? Oh my goodness, all right? And then Hector would answer. Mm -hmm. When I finish, then Hector will ask me these questions that are different, they are not the same. The first question that Hector is going to ask me is, what would you do if you could travel into the future, not back in time, into the future, all right? And I want you to practice as, as much English as possible, all right? Okay, so this is the first activity. This is writing. The other one is speaking. I want you to take a picture of this. Can you guys take a picture of it now? Let me know when you finish taking the picture. Hold 
Finish taking the picture? I finished. All right. Yeah. No, teacher, wait for me. Okay, please. yeah, I'm waiting. Okay, while I'm waiting for you, let's. I'm just going to read this for you. It says note number one. The second conditional okay. is used to talk about future events that are that are hypothetical or improbable. All right, or imaginary. Number two, to form negative sentences at not after would, could and might. I might not give it all away. I would not travel. I could not um, buy a house, whatever. So if you want to make it negative, just add the word not. Okay. All right. Finish taking the picture, Hector. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank so you. I want you to follow this in some, for example, from one to four, you have the if clause and then the main clause but from five six seven and eight is vice versa all right or see what happens here i don't know what what's going on here okay all right so we're gonna i'm gonna stop sharing so you guys can work hi jennifer hello hello jenny nice to see you all right so i'm gonna send everyone to your groups right now i'm gonna give you like about i don't know seven minutes or something and then we come back we check and then we do the oral activity all right okay
Hi, Javier. Hi, Javier. Javier, can you hear me? Hi, Javier. Javier, your microphone is off. Hi, teacher. Excuse me, I have a problem. That's okay, Javier. Don't worry about it. I'm going to send you to another group because I sent uh, Anna to another group. So she wasn't by okay. herself, okay? Okay. Thank you. All right, there you go, Javier. Okay.
Do you want to practice the questions? I may be finished. Yes. Okay. All right, we're going to go back then, okay? Okay. Thank you. All right, guys, let's, let's try to see a couple of these sentences. Vanessa, can you do number two for us? If John did more exercise. He will be healthy. Very good, nice. Javier, number three, if Mrs. Smith spoke Chinese. Javier, your microphone is off. Is John did more exercise? No. Is Number Mrs. three. Smith. Uh -huh. Mrs. Smith, yes. Mrs. Smith spoke Chinese. Um, uh, Mr. Miss, Mrs. Smith uh, will uh, be work in China. Will work in China, yes. China. Sahira, can you do number four if I want a million dollars again? <laughs> Sorry, uh, I buy a car or a house teacher. You would buy a house or a car or both. <laughs> oh, well, All yes. right, very good. Mireya, can you do number five? If you ate healthy, you could live for 150 years. If you ate healthy, I wish, Mireya. That's not true, Mireya. <laughs> it's an imaginary situation, very good. Ana Molina, can you do number six, honey, please? The number six? Yes. Okay. If I finish off the university, I might look for a new job. Excellent. All right. Hector, can you do the following one, please? Number the seven. Number seven. Yes, please. Yeah. If I appear in a party, People would be very surprised. Oh my goodness. That's only imaginary situation, Hector, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's an only imaginary situation. Yeah. All right, Jennifer, can you Thanks help to us? Thanks, Molina. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny, can you help us do number eight, honey, please? Uh, if my brother saw a clown, he will laugh. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Okay, let's see. Andrea, can you do number eight? Eight or nine? No, I'm sorry, nine, 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 nine. <laughs> okay. If aliens land of landed, on Earth, landed on Earth, on, uh -huh. Earth, on Earth, they kill everybody. <gasps> oh my goodness, Andrea! <laughs> oh, they would kill. They would kill everybody. All right, they would. All right. Uh, I did. If animals could talk, oh my goodness, that's freaky. If animals could talk. We will understand they, them. Them. We would understand them. Very good. All right. Um, Gabriela, can you do number 11? If people live on the moon, they will wear helmets. All right. Interesting. Very good. Nice. Uh, let me see. Mariano, number 12. If I spend all my money, I will have to work harder. Yes, Mariana, very good idea. All right, very good. Now, I want you to take a picture of this one, guys, here. This is the first uh, set of questions. Can you please take a picture of this one? And... I will show you this one right here. This is number two. Okay. Okay. Now, what I want you to do, as I said, and as I explained earlier, I want you to like, you can switch one question each. For example, I do number one and then Vanessa does, does number one. And then I do number two, Vanessa does number two. Number three, three, four, four. So we have enough chance to practice to ask and to answer the questions all right 
Remember the structure. The idea, guys, is for you to help each other. No solo deje que diga algo. Examine bien, revise que esté siguiendo la estructura, okay? The idea is for you to help each other. Not going, ah, whatever, right? No, you need to pay attention and you need to help your classmate. Igual que le corrijan a usted o que le ayuden a usted. Do you have any questions? Do you understand what we're going to do? All right. Pongan atención porque cuando regresemos le voy a preguntar a algunos. Ajá, Jennifer, ¿con quién trabajo? Voy a decir ella, ah, con Gabriela. ¿A quién le dijo Gabriela en la number five? So pay attention, all right? Okay, I'm kidding. All right. Let's go then, all right? There we go again. En el grupo de tres, váyanse turnando las preguntas. No hay problema ahí. Imagine. Sorry. Okay. Hi, uh, Sakira. Hi, Alex. Hi. Hi. Are you, do you have the two images? Yes. Yes. All right. Okay. So yeah, you're yeah. asking each other already? Yes. Excellent. Yes. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. What would you do if you were the richest person alive? If I were the richer person alive, I would like to create my create a foundation to help children and elder people in the world. Wow, Mireya, that's inspiring. <laughs> <laughs> very good, Mireya. That was a very nice answer. You would like to have a foundation, or you would like to have a foundation. Very nice. I'll be quiet. Ustedes ignorenme. Aquí no estoy. <laughs> okay. What would you do if you were the smartest person alive? Wow. 
if I were the smartest person alive, I would create the vaccine of COVID-19. Oh, yeah! Very, 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 very. <laughs> Super, very good. That's a good idea. <laughs> yes. And Mireya number four. Okay. Me? Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, Why would you do it? You had a pet monkey. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> if I had a pet monkey, I would give, give, give it to my. I don't know. Give it to someone else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jennifer, that's funny. <laughs> You don't want to have a pet monkey, right? I don't think I would either. No, wakala. <laughs> All right, very good. Keep on working, girls. Very good job. Thank you. X. I could be rich. Hey, <laughs> maybe. I. I have the solution to the number three question. <laughs> I would solve my pet. You would sell your pet? <laughs> the dinosaur. Marianne, the are the dinosaur? Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's not my idea. It's not my idea. It's Gabriela's idea. Gabriela, Gabriela's Gabi, idea. you're terrible, Gabi. <laughs> well, no, maybe. Be uh -huh. no, because if I if I do that, I could be the richest person a lot. True, you're right. Yes, I agree with you. <laughs> okay. That's the better solution. <laughs> okay. Okay. Number five. What would you do if you had a 3D printer? 3D printer. Mm -hmm. um, maybe I will make a lot of action. Figures. A lot of what? Uh, I know a pair of toys. <laughs> you would toys. make toys. Okay. Toys. Okay. Superhero toys. Cool. All right. Oh, okay. Uh, I will. I... Mm, I don't know. I don't have any idea. I... <laughs> A lot of action. Heroes. Yes, I know. I know you had a big imagination. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see that. I will make a lot of action heroes with a printer 3D. Okay. Uh, you really, buy... I scared the, 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 I scared for the, how do you say, Arthur? Teacher. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Okay. You are, how do you, how do you say? <laughs> uh, number six. What would you What would you buy if you had a million dollars? Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> Not kidding again. <laughs> I, 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 I could buy many Say it again, Bunny. What would you do? Could buy many houses. Yeah. Anything. I would buy a hotel in the beach on the beach at the beach. At the beach, yes. Cool, Javier. Very good idea. You you should buy it at Dubai or something, like a very fancy <laughs> place. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. Very good uh, decision. What would you do if you were a robot? I can sing with that. I, I can sing. I can sing with that because the robots they are mechanics. A robot. If I were a robot, I couldn't. I couldn't do sing. <laughs> 
don't know what I did. <laughs> if I were a robot, I think I would uh, live uh, 500 years. <laughs> well, I like that. <laughs> and you, uh, Anessa? <laughs> <laughs> walk or run much. What would you do? I couldn't walk or run much. Okay. Okay. Number eight. What would you do if a robber asked for all your money? Uh oh. That's not a nice uh -huh. situation. Yeah. Ese que el Salvador no es tan imaginary, huh? Yes. No. In That's the, real. Yes. So, Sometimes I go a uh, uh, Robert put in maybe the in my head. Really, yeah. Ana Gloria? I need to do that. Oh my goodness. Yes, it was Christmas. Wow. Uh -huh. I, I, I went to the stadium and they give, say me, give me all that you take. But really, I didn't have a lot of money because I was still working. I went to work to to to. to uh -huh. I, I I I was doing exercise. Right. Uh -huh. But but this is 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 scary. Oh, of I, course. I don't yes. Do nothing. Uh -huh. In the moment, I didn't, didn't stay, feel feel nothing. But in after that, I was just nervous, very of nervous. Of course, yes. Because my I was only with my daughter, and oh. she sent in the, into the house. Yeah, I was uh, taking the car that I sense car. The, the men didn't enter my house because could be done some. I know. Oh, no, uh -huh. my goodness, Ana Gloria. Uh -huh. mm. But sense gas. Yeah. Bad. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy that nothing bad happened. I mean, yeah. nothing worse yeah. happened. Yes. Gas, yes. I know. Yeah. Well, that's not an imaginary situation here in El Salvador. Actually, it happens. No. <laughs> No, it's good. yeah. Unfortunately, yes. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Number nine. What would you do if animals could talk? Mm -hmm. I think um, if, uh, for example, the dog could talk, uh, I would uh, ask him. <coughs> Many things because uh, <laughs> they they have unconditional fields. All right. Mm -hmm. They are special. My 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 daughter has one. It's terrible. They understand a lot of things. And you, Anissa? Um. Number nine. I could have fun with them and let's learn together. Okay. Vanessa, could you repeat me today? I don't understand. Like. We'll have fun with them and let's learn together. Mm. Interesting. Okay, number 10, what would you do if you were a leader of your country? Mm -hmm. President, for example. Yeah, <laughs> or a mayor. Um, <laughs> I think okay. I will try to to steal money. To help <laughs> but I say I wouldn't. What you say? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't yeah, money. she wouldn't. She wouldn't. <laughs> she would be nice. <laughs> Honest. 
Fully an honest point. <laughs> oh, that's an imaginary situation, Javier. <laughs> they could, they could be, they could be. <laughs> Yes. Mm -hmm. We finished, teacher. You finished all of them? Okay, so we're going to go back right now. All right, so let's check some of the sentences in the main group, okay? Okay. Thank you. All right, guys, so we're we're back here in the main group. Before we go, I'm just going to ask five questions to like some of you. All right, so let's get ready to answer them here. All right, let's see. Um, Jennifer. All right, Jennifer. Yeah. What would you do if you saw an alien? <laughs> I, if I saw an alien? Huh? I, I will run away. <laughs> oh my goodness, Jennifer. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, that's okay. All right, uh, let me see. Alexander, what would you do if animals could talk, Alexander? If animals only talk to me, I will be rich. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, interesting. All right, what about Hector? Hector, what would you do? What would you do if you had a pet monkey? If I had a pet monkey, I would uh, I would start a zoo if I had a pet uh -huh. monkey. All right. Yeah. And there I got a I got a bad uh, a dinosaur or something. Like that. <laughs> okay, In my yes. All right. right, yes, of course. Okay, very good. This is why I like the second conditional because you can just dream. All right, Andrea, what would you do? Oh, if a spiders could fly. I will be really scared about Me it. Me too. Waka <laughs> lover. It's like, yeah, gross. All right, let's see. Anna Molina, what could what would you do, sorry, if if you could travel anywhere? Um if uh I could travel anywhere, I could travel to the sky, maybe. Oh, cool. I will travel the sky. Okay. Yes. Okay, very nice. Interesting. Okay, guys, very good. It's time to go because there's another class coming. So I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Remember, we have classes tomorrow and Friday. Please, please uh, keep on working on your platform, all right? Okay. right. Excellent, guys. Thank you. Okay. Good night. Please be safe. Bye-bye, Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.